This is the answer key for using the periodic table to draw four models. To start this sheet out, I want us to look at the symbols that are provided to us and add the atomic number to each of these. So we need to find oxygen. Oxygen's atomic number is eight. It's the top left number on the periodic table provided to you in class. Chlorine's atomic number is nine. Magnesium's is 12, aluminum is 13, and sulfur's top left number is 16. From those, we can fill in P and E for each of these. Number of protons is the same as the atomic number, which is why we just filled that in. 8, 9, 12, 13, 16. Neutrons are top number, the mass number minus the proton, so 15 minus 8 is 7, 15 minus 9 is 10, 24 minus 12 is 12, 27 minus 13 is 14, and 33 minus 16 is 17. The electrons are bottom left minus top right, 8 minus 0 is 8, 9 minus 0 is 9, 12 minus 0 is 12, 13 minus 0 is 13, 16 minus 0 is 16. Okay, we need to have P and E filled in before we do Bohr models. Then when we do Bohr models, we also need to have our table listed here. Um, things that you need to add to your table if you haven't already. You should count down next to hydrogen 1 through 7. Like so. Next to scandium, start out with 3, 5, 6. Next to boron, start with 2. These numbers are the energy levels where we're going to put electrons. On our Bohr models, I'd like you to draw a circle for your nucleus and just tell me how many protons and neutrons. There's 8 protons, 8p plus, and there's 7 neutrons. So both of these live inside the nucleus. Then we're going to find the atom. It's right here on the periodic table. And we're going to count the number of squares it takes to get to that atom. So zoom out a little bit here. So we can see both at the same time. So we're looking for oxygen on our periodic table is right here. Let's see if I can find it by oxygen. Oxygen is right here. This is where we need to stop counting squares. Not as square as I want as possible. Okay, so start at the top left, just like you read a book, go left to right, top to bottom, until we get to our stopping point, oxygen. I'm starting on my top left, I have one box, two box. Both of those are in the energy level that says one. So on my first energy level, I'm going to label it one. Screw up so you see what I just drew. One. And there are two electrons. How do I know there are two? Because there's one box. Two boxes over by helium, all in energy level one. So I've gotten the helium, I need to go back and to the left. I'm at lithium, it says energy level two, one square, two squares across the divide, it still says energy level two, three, four, five, six. This is energy level two. So I just counted six electrons. This is what my Bohr model looks like. First two electrons were hydrogen and helium squared in the periodic table. Next six were lithium, beryllium. I crossed over the gap to boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen. This is what the Bohr model should look like for oxygen. The last box to fill in are valence electrons for this model. Valence electrons are the electrons in the highest energy level. One, two, two is the highest, so there's six. My answer will be six valence electrons. 
And as you hopefully recall, that should make sense because oxygen is in the group VI, which is six. So there should be six valence electrons. Okay, moving on to fluorine. Just gonna make a whole periodic table on if we can. Okay, so fluorine, I need a nucleus. So I'm a nucleus, I need to put protons and neutrons. Nine protons and 10 neutrons. I'm gonna find fluorine on my periodic. That's where I need to stop counting. Start over at hydrogen. Hydrogen's energy level one. So I'll draw an arc that represents the first energy level. There are one, two electrons in energy level one. Can't go any further right, so back to the left. Energy level two, one, two, cross the divide. Still energy level two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fluorine has seven electrons in the second energy level. And seven is my outermost energy level two. There are seven valence electrons, which again makes sense because fluorine is in VI. So the final picture of fluorine should look like so. <clears throat> For magnesium, I have 12 protons, 12 neutrons. I'm going to start with the nucleus. 12 protons, 12 neutrons. We'll zoom out so you can see the periodic table. Magnesium is right here. <clears throat> That's where we need to stop counting. Start at hydrogen, energy level one, one squared, cross, two. This is energy level one. There are two electrons at energy level one. And the helium squared can't go further right to the left. Sorry about that, that was an announcement. Energy level two, one, two, cross three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This time, energy level two has eight electrons. Now I'm in neon square, can't go further right, trying to get to sodium, one, two, excuse me, trying to get to magnesium. There are two in energy level three. Again, energy level three, because I wrote that to the left of my periodic. There are two electrons there. It means there are two valence electrons, which again makes sense because magnesium is in group two. This is what your final Bohr diagram should look like for magnesium. Okay, aluminum has 13 protons, 14 neutrons. So my nucleus will say 13 protons, 14 neutrons. Zoom out so you can see the whole periodic table. Try to get to aluminum. Aluminum is right here. Should say the three. Mistake when I did this. I don't know why I did that. So um, aluminum should have. Electrons all the way up to this square, start at helium square, which is energy level one. One, two, energy level one. Two electrons, can't go further right, so back to the left, energy level two, which have one, two, cross the road, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight in energy level two. And energy level three has one, two, I cross, I still see the number three. So energy level three should have three electrons. Counting squares so we get to the one that we're looking at. Since there's three electrons in the outermost, there's three valence electrons. This is what aluminum's 
floor diagram should look like. The last one on our sheet is sulfur. Sulfur, it says, has 16 protons, 17 neutrons. That's what my nucleus will reflect. 16 protons, 17 neutrons. We will zoom out. See the whole periodic table. Sulfur exists right here on the periodic table, so that's where I need to stop. I'm going to start on my top left. Energy level 1, as it says next to my uh, series there, my period. So energy level 1, 2 electrons, 1, 2. Energy level 2, energy level 2 has 1, 2, cross, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 electrons. Energy level 2. And neon square. Can't go further right, so back to the left. Energy level 3. 1, 2, cross. Straight across. 3, 4, 5, 6. So energy level 3 has 6. This is my highest energy level furthest away from the nucleus. It has 6 valence electrons. Final picture <clears throat> for sulfur should look like this.